Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the Gamma PS1 emulator so you can, well, play PlayStation 1 games. What you want to do is, like, it's really simple to do this. And again, I want to say this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes only. But, let's get started. Go to your App Store. Search for, you either click search in the bottom right or search field at the top. And you want to search for Gamma. And is the Gamma Game Emulator by Zod TTD LLC. Click the download button. So we'll let that download. Go back. And we also need, if you search for unzip, and we need a unzipping tool as well. This is just for your games. Again, I can't show you, you know, where to get games from. You know, obviously for legal purposes, you should rip the games yourself and put it on your device and get the BIOS file yourself, etc., etc. But for, you know, if you've got certain games from certain locations, they might be like in a RAR or a 7-zip file format. The built-in file manager on iPhone, as of now, cannot unzip them so you'll need something like this so i recommend unzip just download this and now what you want to do is let me show you what games or you know what files i've got so there's two main files that you will need so if you if i go to on my iphone chrome you'll need a game i've got crash bandicoot it's in a dot seven z if i try and click it it doesn't work it just opens something else and then i have a scph1001.zip file that's the bios file there's different you know bios files from different regions from you know different versions i find it doesn't really matter you know which one you you know what version you're using but you know you want to unzip it and get the dot bin file so i will delete this so for me if i click the dot zip it has now unzipped it whereas the game i'll need something like unzip so if i open up unzip and you know this does this does have adverts so click on the plus icon in the top right now go to files slash icloud drive you know, open up the file manager i'll click browse in the bottom right from here I go to on my iPhone and because I've downloaded them using Chrome there I'll go to the Chrome folder if you've got like Firefox you just go there for example or if you know where they are and then for me I'll select the game dot seven Z I'll click open this has imported it so it's created a copy in this application we'll delete that afterwards because it just takes up space but what you want to do is click the three dots next to it now click extract files and you know i've used other tools like izip as well but what i like about this one is it actually gives you progress of your unzipping you know when you're you know uncompressing stuff whereas on izip you know doesn't um you know as of recording this video so this is a lot nicer i can see the progress so in here if i open it there's another folder again it'll depend on your structure i've got a bin and q file so the bin is the binary file that's basically the raw data for the game the q is a file that has like metadata regarding the game and it's usually used for extra you know compatibility with emulators find the bins enough and that's pretty much all you'll need anyway but we can actually close this down and now if we open up gamma it's a pretty sim simple emulator i'm going to go to your settings okay again you will get adverts you want to go to your settings in the top left you want to go to gamma it says bios.bin not installed again it might not be named bios.bin it needs to be a dot bin file so just bear that in mind next so click this now again if you go to browse go to on my iphone chrome and select the bin file that's now done in here you can change the controller type again if you have an external controller attached like an xbox you can change the skin the skin transparency audio you know buttons sync service is pretty cool as well so you can enable sync to something like google drive or dropbox i'm going to leave that in game previews as well it's a pretty simple emulator that's really it now if you press the add button in the top right you go to files on device and now what you want to do go to browse you want to go to on my iphone 
we want to go to unzip and go to the folder you know go to the dot bin file select it you can select multiple games as well so you can do this in one go if you've got like 10 games ready click open it's now imported it but what i want to show you if i go to files and if i go to on my iphone and i go to gamma i go to database if i go to games there's a game right there that's the game that's being imported so i actually don't need it anymore again this is just an extra step just to save space if i go to on my iphone go to unzip and i can delete it from here so i can so i can delete the folder i can delete the seven zip and as an additional step i'll leave it for now because i need it for you know for other reasons but i could delete it from my chrome folder as well so if i open up gamma there's the game if i press it again you will get ads just bear that in mind and i'm just waiting for the skip button so it's in the top left if i click that click done you don't want to download stuff if you've used you know ios apps before and you understand you know the sort of you know the way the ads work you know you'll feel right at home that the game launched this is the controller it doesn't really look like an original playstation controller i don't know why they didn't try and make it look like it so the game will load up in a few seconds there we go okay so you have the d-pad you have some face buttons again it doesn't show you so obviously this is where you could put an extra skin on yourself i'll probably create a separate video for that but you know the top one is triangle the one on the left is square the one on the right is circle the one on the bottom is x you got start and select you got one two two one at the top one two on the left is l1 and l2 two and one on the right side on the top is r2 and r1 a menu just opens up a gamma menu and you can save state low state and fast forward as well so i'll show you that in a second and now you can just press the arrows and the x button so let me just play a bit of the level but there you go gamma is now set up on your iphone using the app store that's oh, it's pretty insane let's see if i can do this it's hard enough as it is with a controller let alone i know i've missed some boxes but that's fine because i want to get to the bridge i know i've got to slow down a bit sometimes you can fall oh i was almost there okay i'm going to click menu and i'm going to show you save state so if i click save state and i'll just click plus there we go if we go back if we go to main menu if I click the game again, and if I, let's say, just say restart, for example, it's restarting the game. You'll see the Sony information pop up in a second or two. But if I click menu and I click load state and I click my state and, you know, there's auto save states as well. It literally allows me to go back to where I left off. So this is a great way of saving in a game even though there isn't a specific save point and in older games especially like crash bandicoot the saves were a lot rarer so this is fantastic so you can save it mid game turn the you know the app off come back to it and you're good to go but yeah i'm just going to go to main menu
and that's it that's how you set up the gamma emulator on your iphone to play playstation 1 games all legit from the app store again you know there's two things you will need games dot bin format and you will need a dot bin file for the bios again you can google that uh, you know for legal reasons obviously i can't show you where to get it from or even put you know links in the description for it but if you have any questions regarding anything in this video feel free to just pop me a message and you know, i'll help you out that's it if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye